I'm just going to review a study that I did um, for melasma. Um, Okay, so as we know, um, melasma is multifactorial and very difficult to treat, and it's also chronic. So some of the treatments which have downtime are difficult for patients because they can't keep coming every two to four weeks and have a week of downtime because patients are busy. So peels are difficult, lasers are difficult, and then with tranexamic acid, that's been um, more recently popular in the U.S., but many patients are still concerned of side effects from um, doing oral tranexamic acid, so it's hard to convince patients to take it. So I was looking for something different in my practice because sometimes even on combination therapy, you know, patients are resistant to treatment. And so I was looking for something with no downtime, no pain. And as we've heard um, throughout this panel, you know, this device is very versatile. Um, so we did a study, like a real world study, where patients were on, um, they were on topicals, hydroquinone bleaching cream, but were just resistant and wanted further improvement. So then we added the um, Aralase Neo. So we treated 10 subjects, um, various skin types, and they came in every two to four weeks. Um, and then we actually use pretty conservative settings. So with melasma, I'm always worried about rebound with laser treatment, which we did not see. Um, so I use more conservative settings than what the factory settings were recommended, but we still saw really great improvement. And um, I've actually been pushing these settings and I've been seeing even uh, better results since this study. So we treated 10 subjects, and so they had up to you know, five treatments or however many they needed. Um, and the treatments were every two to four weeks. And then some of the patients just had the neo monotherapy, and some patients were already on um, kojic acid, hydroquinone, tranexamic acid, but they were just resistant to treatment, so they were looking for something further. And then we just reviewed their um, photography and graded them on a four point scale. And so what we found was overall they had up to 50% improvement, um, and the improvement really began early as three weeks. Um, we had two subjects who showed a little bit of initial darkening, um, and then that resolved, and then they had um, subsequent lightening. Um, all patients had improvement, and the nice thing about it, what, there was no pain, no discomfort, didn't require any anesthesia, and of course, they also had the added benefit of improved texture, which they all mentioned. Um, so here are some of um, the cases. So. Um, this was after two treatment sessions, after three treatment sessions, and you can kind of just see how they're more luminous, their skin is brighter. Um, and she was actually really tough, and um, following the study, we actually did another treatment, and, and her melasma, it almost like shut it down. Just how we were talking about, Dr. Gold mentioned with the acne patient, how it kind of shuts it down. I've seen that a lot with the patients um, with the neo, where we'll do a few treatments, and then you know, it really keeps it stable for a while, and then they can just maintain with bleaching cream. Or, um. So to conclude, I think this is a great option for melasma and many other things, as we've heard. And the best thing about it is there's no downtime, so it's really easy for patients to come in frequently, um, and there's no pain. So I think it's a great treatment option for melasma. 